And now, let's bring out our special guest. sacrifice for fame. A lot of you won't get this, but those of you who are up on entertainment already know the truth. Let's talk about Prince starting off. In 98-99, Prince would end all his tours with letting the world know what's coming ahead, but no one knew what he was talking about. Check it out. We got one more, but we gonna get out. I gotta go home, y'all. I gotta go back to America. I gotta go get ready for the bomb. What's up, my baby? I'm getting ready to bomb. What's up, my baby? I'm getting ready to bomb. Good move. What's up, my baby? I'm getting ready to bomb. Now you tell me, how do Prince know about the bombs two to three years ahead of time when Al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden weren't even talked about until the bombs and the towers actually went down? That lets you know the elite lets these guys know what's up ahead of time. Once you hit that $50 million marker, you become very special to the elite and it lets you know what they know. And by Prince being an artist, they like for you to sing about it. They also, if you're a big time movie director, they like for you to put it in your movies. They tell us every day, but most Americans are brain dead. But yes, Prince is an Edomite, and I'm going to explain it very carefully. Even though Prince had black people in his family, don't get it twisted, they were not all black, okay? As seen here. Here's the man that brought Prince in the world, John Nelson. Well, most folks didn't know that John was 50% Italian, 50% black. And what that means, half and half. John's father, who was Prince's grandfather, was 100% Italian. And his lineage does not go back to the Moors. So that makes Prince an Edomite. Here's Prince's mother, Maddie Shaw. She was also 90% Italian, 15% black. Prince came from an Italian family, much like Lenny Kravitz. Prince's father is not an Israelite. Prince's father was a blood sacrifice. And Prince is a straight up flaming faggot, and on top of it, he's an Edomite. <laughs> Prince's father dies. The sacrifice is fulfilled. Let's turn the tables. Let's talk about Aaliyah. A lot of folks want to believe that Aaliyah was our angel. I'm sorry to inform you, she wasn't. The truth on why Aaliyah died her death was planned out by someone who loved her and needed her for his own blood sacrifice. Now, Aaliyah was not as innocent as people play upon. There's a lot of things that Aaliyah was involved in. She was involved with two different men. I'll explain later. Meanwhile, Damien Dash was the guy she fell in love with. And while Damien Dash had Aaliyah falling in love with him, or as he said, he fell in love with her as well, Damon Dash was involved with another woman. 
We will show you that woman as the film is rolling. Damon Dash didn't have love for Aaliyah. Damon Dash really didn't give two squats about Aaliyah. But what he did need her for is for his own journey. See, Damon Dash took the oath, just like his partner Jay-Z. And they all know about the sacrificing to become famous and wealthy. Well, let's just turn back the tables. Because before Dash, Jay-Z was popping this. Oh yeah, don't get it twisted. Jay-Z and Aaliyah had a thing going on. That is not a lie if you've seen it in the past. Jay-Z would meet Aaliyah at the club or sometime bring her to the club. The thing is, Damien or Damon used to see Jay-Z with her. But Jay-Z really didn't have an interest. He kind of liked her, but he didn't. Dash really wanted her for other reasons, as seen here. Aaliyah was kind of given out. I hate to say it this way, but Aaliyah was kind of given out like a joint. She was what they call a jump around with these two particular guys. In Aaliyah's last film, she plays this demonic vampire evil witch. It's amazing that certain roles you take can depict how your life will play out. In the final role that Aaliyah played, she played this witch being turned into ash and to stone. But little did she know that playing a film would come out to be reality. Aaliyah playing nosedive because it was way overweight. Everyone aboard pretty much died. But during that day, after the shoot rocked the boat, Damon was calling Aaliyah pretty uh, often. He was begging her to get on that plane so he could see her. So he said, See, it was all in the plans. Aaliyah was the blood sacrifice so that Damon could reach his fortune and his fame. I'll explain it as the film rolls. During the funeral, the guys come out with one hand over another. That's to let the elite know that the sacrifice have taken place and now they're at the finale. Rachel Roy is well aware of the sacrifices that goes on in Hollywood. She was with Damon at the time of the death of Aaliyah. See, he met her as an intern working for Rockaway, fell in love with her, even impregnated her in 1999, about the same time he met Aaliyah. She knew about Aaliyah. She also knew Aaliyah was going to be their sacrifice for fortune and fame. When Aaliyah passed, he got back with Rachel, but did not marry her to 2005. He didn't want people to be seen so suspicious. Meanwhile, Aaliyah's death hits everybody like a storm. But don't get it twisted. What you didn't know is that Aaliyah was down with the boss. Now, she wasn't down with the sacrifices, especially if she knew she was going to be sacrificed. But Aaliyah would always throw up her bathroom and sign like all the rest of them. Because she was a part of the brotherhood as well. On the female side. Don't get it twisted. The women sell out too. What did he get for sacrificing her? Rockaware. Pro Kids. State Property Femmes. The clothing line of CEO. But Damon saw Jay-Z moving faster, so he wanted to get rid of Rockaware. So he sold it to Jay-Z for $30 million. But Jay-Z was always up on game. Jay-Z said, thanks, brother. Took it to his partners and flipped it for $204 million. Talk about screwing you without Vaseline. Ouch. Damon seen Jay-Z moving in the fast lane. So Damon would have secret talks and try to work out a distribution deal behind the elite's back. 
Jay-Z went and told leaders of the Boule this would make Jay trustworthy and give much wealth for his snitching.